Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video and in this one I'll be explaining to you guys how you can use Mod Organizer 2 to mod your Starfield game so let's get right into it. As you can see I'm currently in my New Vegas install uh, or rather the instance, the New Vegas instance and I want to create a new Starfield instance by going into the instance manager, clicking create new instance, clicking create global, you can use portable if you're doing some crazy things. Uh, for example mod lists however global will work just fine you should find starfield here however if you don't go to browse and you should find it in uh, manually wherever you installed it under s and starfield is here sadly i cannot select it since uh, my mod organizer 2 install is a bit old and it doesn't recognize starfield as a supported game however just select it and you will create an instance similar to this one uh, make sure your new uh, your nexus account is connected to mod organizer by clicking connect to nexus and inputting your login credentials uh, clicking click associate with the download manager links uh, to make sure that you can download things and once you do you can download mods directly to here and by double clicking on them you'll install them and by checking these tick boxes you will activate them make sure the lot load order is in order uh, which is this priority queue which you see here some mods need to be loaded after other certain mods you can find them in the description of the mods you're downloading or you can find a guide online you can also use tools like loot for bethesda games i don't know if they if it works for starfield it should However, just run it and organize your load order and everything should work perfectly. And once you actually do everything like that and enable your mods, everything should work perfectly. Just run your game. Uh, I don't know, uh, I haven't modded Starfield yet. However, most Bethesda games do require a script extender because of the limitations of the Gamebryo engine. Uh, so make sure that is installed if you need to. And just run the game and everything should run perfectly. And that's about it. If you have any problems, please comment. And I will see you guys in another video.